We've completely made up for it with the second film, which was the prequel, which I reviewed yesterday. Yeah, I reviewed that. Well, hello there and good talk to you all. I am your host, Dr. Weiser of Fripp, and whether I am not performing any illegal body modifications or black market human organ trading or flesh arts, I am usually here reviewing movies. So, it is Halloween in January time, day 16. Yeah. And today I am reviewing Ouija. The first film in the Ouija franchise, and is not a prequel to the um, Ouija Origin of Evil, it is a sequel, but it's the original film. So, uh, yeah, this one it has her out of Bet's Motel, Olivia Cook, and uh, she has her friends that have Ouija boards, and then next thing, Shiza starts to happen where there are demonic entities and evil forces and stuff. So what did I like about this one? Well, not a lot. I thought it was okay. It wasn't original, but I was thinking, oh yeah, the Ouija board, it's just like opening the door and inviting a demon in to torment you. And that's what it was. I can't really think much of this film. I have some likes and dislikes to it. Uh, let's go on to the likes first. So, I liked the lead actress in this, Olivia Cook, but the rest of the cast I were not familiar with. Apart from the cameo from her, from Insidious, I can't remember her name now, but she was uh, Alice in the Insidious films. So, uh, the, what else can I tell you I liked? Uh, the jump scares were not all there. Uh, to be honest, I can't think of much to like about this one. It has some originality to it with the ghost. Uh, no, it does not have anything original to it. Um, but yeah, the story did not really make much sense and it felt quite rushed. Um, this movie uh, was a little bit of a disappointment, but it completely made up for it with the second film, which was the prequel, which I reviewed yesterday. Yeah, I reviewed that yesterday. I thought. I'll review a prequel and then it's original film. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. But yeah, apart from that, it was like piss, you know. Uh, not thick yellow piss, just yellow piss, you know, that was that you could see through. Uh, you know, I thought it was like that. Uh, other than that, I can't really think of much to say about the movie. Apart from it's okay, but it's not brilliant. Definitely not my favourite horror film of 2014 at the time. And still probably not one of my favorites now, but I thought I'd review it and share my thoughts with you. And hopefully I have given you some heads up, some warning about this movie. So, uh, is there anything else I need to add on to this review before I go? Uh, no, I can't think of much. Um... So yeah, um, like I said, not a brilliant film, but all in all, if you want to watch the, se the second film, Ouija Origin of Evil, then do so, because you don't need to see this one to get the second one, because like I just said, prequel. Okay, so my ratings to this, I'm going to give Ouija um, two scalpels out of five. This has to be the lowest rated film I've rated so far, but yeah. I am giving it two scalpels out of five, I don't know, because uh, it was quite boring too. Anyway, this has been Halloween in January, day 16, uh, Jan Halloween in January, 
if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to share with your friends do not forget to subscribe to the official random horror youtube channel and to hit the notification bell and also be sure to follow random horror up on social media facebook twitter instagram and our facebook horror group the random horror madhouse so yeah that is it for today I have been Dr. Fripp. This has been Halloween in January, Friday 16th of January, Halloween in January 3. Anyway, until then, I bid you all all feet to say goodbye and do not have nightmares. Hmm.